Hi, welcome to ATV Fest. If you could just um, tell me your name and the character that you play on Miracle Workers. I'm uh, John Bass, uh, thejohnbass at gmail.com, and I play uh, Sam on Miracle Workers. Uh, I'm Karin Sony, I play Sanjay on Miracle Workers. Awesome. So, what's the environment like on set? Um, hostile. Very hostile. Uh, Karin would run around every single day just screaming about his lattes. Where's his lattes? Why is his latte cold? And he just, um, you know, he's one of those actors that when he leaves a set, the crew claps. Not because he did a, such a good job, but because they don't have to deal with his antics anymore. Of course. Yeah, I just love everyone and everything, and I'm grateful to be there. <laughs> Um, how is this comedy different than any other comedy that you filmed before? Um, how is it? Well, first of all, it's the most high stakes comedy I think on television right now. It's literally life and death, earth shattering consequences happening in the moment comedy. Um, and I just think it's a screwball, which you don't really see anymore. You don't really get to see screwball comedies anymore. And this one is, it's really like a, a throwback to like the, the 1930s and 40s comedies. Yeah, I think the idea that Daniel Radcliffe and Steve Buscemi on our TV show together, that's pretty cool. Like, they're straight up movie stars, and I know a lot of movie actors are doing TV, but they're like two legends in my book, so it was really exciting to get to be on a show with them. And, and actually, Daniel did say a, a bunch of times, like, we had these really amazing sets on the show, and, and he was like, this actually feels a little bit like Harry Potter, and I was like, yes. <laughs> Because I love Harry Potter and there's like a lot of like big giant doors and rooms and he's like, wow, this feels like the Great Hall. I'm like, this is everything I want to hear because I missed out on that opportunity clearly, but now I'm getting to relive it as an angel. So yeah. Awesome. So how is filming a limited series different than filming a full season? It's not. It's not different at all. I think if we're lucky enough, they just call it limited series to make it sound cool. Like to make sure people watch because they're like, well, you might not get to see it again. It's sort of like how they make the McRib only available for like a month out right. of the year. Uh, it's sort of the same deal. Well, if they, the you know. McRib of TV. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's good. Um, yeah, so, so I mean, that's pretty much the only difference. Uh, we're, we're hoping to do a second season. But uh, we'll see. Completely different characters, yes. and it would be a different world completely. So the cool thing about the show is that at the end of this seven episodes, um, the story ends for these characters. So there's kind of no cliffhanger, and so it's almost like a three and a half hour movie. We had all the scripts before we started filming, so it really felt like we were doing a movie. Um, and it's exciting because then it's kind of a reset, and we get to play like a new role. But there'll be essentially a thematic element that will continue between the seasons. The closest thing would be like American Horror Story, but for mm -hmm. comedy. Yeah. So. Awesome. Thank you so much. We're very excited Thank to you. have you here. Thank you, Scad. <laughs>